because yes, music is the bridge between mom and me, and it it bonds us together. Even in the not easy times, music is the glue, and it keeps all of us, our country, our family, continuing to show up no matter what shape we're in. We show up and we sing, because that's what love is about, right? So, pretty big deal. As a daughter and as an artist, it's a win-win. I feel like I'm being punked. They're telling me that I get to go back <laughs> and sing with Winona Judd, Winona Ellen Judd, my little girl who used to have her peas in her glass of milk, um, the best singer in the business. I get to go sing with her again. The CMT Awards are going to be broadcast on CBS Network for the first time ever. This is a big deal. Yeah, a big honking deal. Um, Wits and glitz, glamour and clamor, flash and flare with mm, spunk to spare. <laughs> The five-time Grammy Award-winning mother-daughter duo, Naomi and Winona, will sing their hit, Love Can Build a Bridge, from Nashville's Country Music Hall of Fame ahead of their induction in May. Naomi says she and Winona share a magical connection when they sing. She watches my eyebrows. If I start to go up, then she knows the pitch, and we kind of, kind of got it down, but you never know. And this performance is so... Um, I guess the word is radical. You'll see. A performance that is solely devoted to the fans. I love them so much. That's to me better than winning a Grammy or anything. Why did it take so long to get you back here at an award show and perform? That is a great question. Nashville ran out of rhinestones. That damn Dolly Parton took all of them. <laughs> I had to wait. I finally found some. Oh, well, yes, you did. Winona, what is tonight like for you? Reuniting on the stage. It feels really weird, and yet, like, nothing is, uh, in other words, time. It's weird. It's like all or nothing. Uh, during the pandemic, everything was happening and nothing was happening. And I feel that way tonight. It's almost like I'm suspended, you know, between the here and now kind of thing. I know that's a weird answer, but I just feel like it's surreal. Like I'm watching Entertainment yeah. Tonight or something, and there's a story that somebody made up. And you are the story. Yeah. You are. So many people have been talking about this moment that's happening tonight. But why was now the right time? I have no idea. So now you uh, are. I know. What? Give me the scoop, Mama. There's so many problems in country music. Somehow, in your almost in in your deepest core in your soul, still talks about families. If we can get along, anybody can. Amen to that. Love building a bridge, ladies. Don't you think it's time? I do believe it is darn time for it and I also think it's time for y'all to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame which is happening this <laughs> summer. Yes it is. I mean what does the honor mean to you? This is supreme. It means that my grandchildren you know what I mean? Yeah. I think about that and I go wow this is a historical moment and so there will be someone someday that says I don't know who she is and maybe they'll find out who I am and they'll learn something from it. I don't know. And we'll also learn more about you guys on the final tour. Just announced today, you're hitting the road, ladies. Are you ready to be sharing a tour no. bus together? I turned my oh. carport into a little <laughs> manufacturing factory uh -huh. to make Judd's t-shirts. I got one. The Jud well, you don't have the one that I've made. Oh, well, the I one, got one tonight. The one that I made says the Judd's final tour. And underneath it, it says, we <laughs> you not. There you have it. Always keeping it real, ladies. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love these two.
Y'all are performing tonight. I know it's been a while since you've been on the stage together. So what will that moment be like for you? The only time I don't feel afraid or lonely or fearful is when I, I'm up on that stage, especially when these characters out there smiling at me. <laughs> All the fans. Yeah, yeah. How about for you, Winona? I think it's important to celebrate. We need more celebration. Would you agree? Yeah. And the fans, uh, we're doing it for them. That's top three of the reasons. So for me, it's about stepping back in time and saying, I'm grateful. Yeah. We are grateful Plus, you are, yeah? I get to meet all these young whippersnappers. <laughs> I hope I'm one of them. Am I still considered a whippersnapper, maybe? I just, no, I've been, <laughs> you and I go way oh, back. Oh, right, right, right. Let's so, not talk about how, too far how we go back. I'm <laughs> just hoping that nobody rushes the stage and slaps oh, a presenter. Do, uh, please, if you do, rush <laughs> no, me. No, Thank no, you. No. Let's not encourage that behavior. I do want to talk about the uh, the final tour you've announced is coming soon. So y'all will be touring, hitting a, a number of spots around the country. Um, I, is that... <laughs> do you need some help with yeah, it? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be fun to see you sing all the classics, though, all those songs we know and love. I like how you said classic, because at our age, we, we like to say vintage and classic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, your performance tonight, Love Can Build a Bridge. Don't you judge. think it's time? Don't you think it's time? Love you both. All right, let's go over to Ashley, who's standing by. <laughs> Watching a clip of you and your mom singing that final time. Don't you think it's time? Don't you think it's time? Thought about what you saw, minus that very public moment where you sang together. What was that last day? Um, she was very fragile. She was. Yeah. And I think it's because she hadn't sung in a long time. Mm. And I think when our parents get older, their world gets smaller. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's kind of heavy, too. Mm -hmm. And she was late, and she's never late. And something with wardrobe, and I think she was nervous. And I think it was so much of an expectation to do it for CMT mm -hmm. awards. And I just think it was like, <gasps> imagine being that nervous you know and had you ever to go seen out. her that nervous before not really not the way she was nervous that mm -hmm. day i think as you see your parents getting mm -hmm. older and dealing yeah. with anxiety or for whatever reason if they get lost or you just it's weird yeah it's really strange did you try to comfort her or it was snowing yeah. raining yeah it was 40 freaking degrees mm -mm. and i was barefoot and i was just freezing <laughs> And it was one of those moments where you're, you know, the wind's in your mm -hmm. hair and you're like, oh. <laughs> and I think she was just overwhelmed. Oh. And I think that day was hard for me to see her that way. Yeah. Because I had not seen her that way very often. I'd seen her that way personally, but not professionally. Not professionally. Mm -hmm. Did you want to just, did you assume that this was one of those I days? wanted to pull her wig off. You did, what? <laughs> you're so bizarre. I wanted to pull her wig off. She you had did. this wig on yeah. that was like up to here. And I was like, I, I was so frustrated with her at one point. And aren't we all with our parents? Yes. At some point, we want to go, knock it off. Stop. You know? Yeah. And I did. I wanted, so when, when I hear you start to say, I think I know what you're, where you're going. Yeah. And the first thought in my head was, no, I don't want to hug her or comfort her. <laughs> I want to pull her wig off. Because that was the dynamics of our relationship. It was tough and tender. Mm. We're both so alpha and determined that it was sometimes hard for me to be tender with mom because I'm the lead singer mm -hmm. and I'm on my own, you know, version of life mm -hmm. on my own journey. And I think it occurred to me that all of a sudden she looked at me and blinked and I knew then that something wasn't right in terms of her being off a little bit like mm -hmm. nervous. And I, I softened, which mm. I think is God's grace. Mm. And I just kind of reached out and touched her hand like, I'm here. I got mm. you. It's okay. Mm. I'm glad I did that because that was the last time we performed together. Mm. 
I'm glad I didn't stay stuck in my perfectionism is my point, I guess. The Jed women have done a lot. I mean, you've left such an, an imprint. When people think your mom, how would you want them to remember her? My mother was very kind to the less fortunate mm. and always made people feel, even in whether it was a limo driver or, you know, the maid in the hallway, she always spoke to everyone. Mm. She will be remembered for that, the kindness. Um, and the ones that didn't know her, I would say give her a break because they're going to judge her based on what they know about the suicide. Mm. So I would like for her to be remembered, you mm. know, for being a great songwriter. And she's my queen, so <laughs> she's still my queen. I don't think your relationship with your mom ever changes. And You talk about her in the present tense, by the way. I do? Mm -hmm. Oh. Talk about her. A lot go. of the statements you said were, Interesting. were about like she's still here. So you must feel her here. Yes. A lot. 